welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Allie and I'm so excited to have you. Today we are doing a cleaning video. I'm gonna be cleaning my house, but I'm gonna be filming it a little bit differently than I typically do. I have messes everywhere that all need to be tidied up, but I don't want this video to just be a tidy up video. I also have projects that I want to get to. One of those being this closet, which is Andrew's. It still has boxes that have not been unpacked and our pantry needs to be gone through and just things like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the before mess and then off camera, I'm going to do most of the tidying. I'll show you the satisfaction of the after and then I'll take you guys along with me for the more intense projects that I need to get done. And the reason that I'm filming it this way is because filming makes the whole process just go so much longer trying to get angles and things like that. That's just a little bit of the behind the scenes. So in order for me to be able to get it all done, I'm just gonna film it this way and I hope that you guys enjoy the different format. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. We have so many exciting things coming up gender reveal for baby number three and then i don't know what it is but today i woke up kind of in nesting mode we are 20 weeks at this point and there's just like some decluttering i want to do i want to get things out i want to get things set up and kind of ready i feel like i'm beginning to nest a little bit all right so without further ado let's get into this cleaning video i'm starting by writing a to-do list and this just kind of keeps me on track and it's also super satisfying when i'm able to cross one of these things off of my list. And you'll notice that I didn't actually get to everything on my to-do list today, but that's okay. I can save it all for another day. The first thing that I'm gonna do is strip the bed of the sheets and throw them in the washing machine. And then I'm actually putting the blankets that I'm not gonna be washing back onto the bed. That way the rest of the room still looks tidy and put together. And this way too, I'll be able to put things on the bed as I'm organizing and cleaning out Andrew's closet. I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Maybe you guys can help me. We have the Whirlpool washer and dryer. They were not cheap, but I'm not fully in love with them. I have to wash my clothes on delicate and they still end up stretching in the neck. And also, even if I take the clothes out of the washing machine immediately after the cycle ends, my clothes that I'm not putting in the dryer end up really wrinkled. So if you guys have this washer and dryer, let me know what you think of it. Now it's time to tackle Andrew's closet. <laughs> Poor guy has been dealing with this ever since we moved in. These are boxes that haven't been unpacked and just a lot of stuff that we have thrown in here when we had company over just to make the room look a little bit more tidy. So the first thing that I'm gonna do, which is something I do for every single organization project, is just take everything out of the closet, except I will leave all of his clothes hanging. These command hooks were already left on the wall from the previous owners of this house, so I just thought for now, since they're here, I'll hang Andrew's belt on them. And now I'm going through Andrew's clothes and I am organizing them by category. He has a lot of hoodies and quarter zips. So I'm just organizing those all together and then his dress shirts I'm putting together and lastly his polos. The only thing that I'm going to be leaving on this bottom rack are his pants 
And then that leaves a lot of room to put a shoe rack. And I didn't have a shoe rack, so I had to run out to Target and grab one of those. This could be organized a little bit better, maybe a little bit more visually appealing, but for now I'm just going to place it here and then if in the future I want to get some cute organizing bins, I can do that. But this is a tip that I have for organizing any space in your house, is to designate a home base for all of your things. This makes it super easy not only for you in the future to clean up, but also for other people in your house. If they know where something is to be returned to, they can easily return it. I've noticed a lot if I don't designate a home base for things, then it just ends up sitting where it's not supposed to for a very long time, making the house look cluttered. I always like to fill up my diffuser when I'm in our bedroom during the day, especially after I've cleaned it because it makes our house smell so good. This is my current favorite diffuser blend. It's cinnamon bark, stress away, and thieves, and it makes your house smell like a Michaels store. It's really, really good. And I get all of my diffusers and my essential oils from Young Living. I have a link in the description box below. I recommend getting a starter kit. It comes with 12 oils plus a diffuser, and it's just the perfect way to get started with essential oils or less toxic living if that's something you wanna get started with. We also have a really great oily community, Facebook groups, we do Zoom calls, we have chat threads going. We talk every single day, help each other, support each other, and we really are a family. And we would love to have you if you guys wanna get a starter kit and join us. I'm also giving away these beautiful welcome boxes this month to anybody who joins my Young Living team. And so if you use that link to get your starter kit, I will send you one of these boxes for free. I'm sure some people are gonna ask what I'm using for laundry detergent. This is my Thieves laundry detergent, but I've actually diluted it. So instead of getting 60 loads per bottle, I'm actually able to get around 192 loads per bottle. If you guys want the recipe to diluting your laundry detergent, I actually have an IGTV video that walks you through how to do it. And that's over on my Instagram account at simplyessentials underscore Allie. You don't care what people say, people say, people say I'm going crazy for you, baby Don't know how you make it me feel 
actually had to run out and pick up this shoe rack from Target because we didn't have one. It was the only one left because we live in a college town and everything had been wiped out by the college students, but I'm really happy with it. And Andrew said that he really liked the color, so it all worked out and it was only around $30. And here I have the same essential oil blend going that I had in our bedroom, Thieves, Stress Away, and Cinnamon Bark. The last thing we're gonna do is put the sheets and all of the bedding back on the bed and everything was washed except for the coverlet which was still in the dryer. Get 
So this video is taking a little bit of a different turn. I cleaned for the first part of the day and then once we put the kids down for a nap, I really needed to go to Target and just run some errands. And while I was there, I found some really cute clothes and then I also got some clothes for Oakley. And so I thought, why not just give you guys a little Target haul at the end of this video. The first thing is this hoodie and it's actually the same exact hoodie as the one that I'm wearing right now, just in a different color. This is actually a men's hoodie. It's from the Goodfellow line. And the reason that I like it is because I have kind of a long torso and so this being a men's, it just fits a little bit longer on me. And then I also sized up to a medium in this one. The peach one I'm wearing is a small, but I wanted to get a medium because I am obviously pregnant and my bump is going to be growing. So I wanted something that was going to kind of grow or at least accommodate the bump a little bit longer. The next thing I got is this kind of oatmeal colored cardigan. It is universal thread and I got an extra small. Typically I wear smalls, but I like to get cardigans from Target in extra small because they tend to run pretty oversized and I don't love an oversized cardigan on me because I feel like it just it takes away from my shape it just kind of makes me look boxy so I really like this I'm gonna pair it I think with some jeans and um, like maybe a white shirt or I could even put this over like a tight fitting dress that shows off the bump there's lots of ways that I can wear this, but I tried to get some pieces that are gonna go like into fall. So it was like 85 degrees when I was shopping today, but I was trying to think forward into fall. The next thing I got is this jean jacket, and I have never found a jean jacket that I like. And honestly, I will have to kind of test run this and see if I like this one. Again, in this, I got an extra small because I don't want it to be super boxy on me. I want it to be a little bit more form-fitting. I love the color of it. It's just a really pretty light color, like a light wash. And I'm envisioning wearing this over like a black um, bodysuit dress, like maternity dress. That really shows off the bump as well, and this will take me into fall really nicely. This is from the Wild Fable line, and it is actually a crop thermal type shirt. Normally I'm not a huge fan of crop tops, but because of the bump, I'm actually really liking crops paired with dresses. Um, just kind of like tight and a knot and then wear that over like the top of the bump and then have like a bodysuit dress underneath. So I really liked this gray color. I don't have a thermal in this gray color. The material is thin, but it's so soft and the price is pretty inexpensive, $15 for this, and I got my, my regular size small. And then I went into the maternity section, and I'm gonna try a pair of maternity jeans from Target. I have never found a pair of maternity jeans that I like, but I did get a pair of shorts last time I was pregnant from Target, and I really liked those. I would prefer the over the bump type of jean as opposed to like this just kind of stretchy panel, but, this was the only jean wash that I liked, so um, I just went ahead and grabbed this and I'll try it on and see how they fit me and then I'll probably let you guys know on Instagram, but they seem to be, I don't know, we'll have to see what they look like on. I also grabbed just a v-neck from the maternity section. This has the ruching on the sides. I thought this was a really pretty color for fall, especially it's kind of like a pinky rust color and I think it looks really pretty with these jeans. Um, it'll look really pretty with a cardigan over it. You can never have too many basic tees and these are only $12.99. And then I grabbed a couple of like lounge sets. I love this one so much. I love the leopard print on it. I grabbed this so fast when I saw it because they must have just put them out. Typically at my Target, my size in any kind of loungewear, at least the cute pieces, sells out so fast. And so I saw this and I felt it. You guys, it is so soft. I wish that I could describe it. It's just so soft. It has this little tie in the front. It's got some pants that go with it. And I thought that this would be really nice to have, obviously during pregnancy, but also postpartum, just kind of laying around holding the newborn, laying in bed and things like that. I thought that this would be really nice. 
And for this set, it's only $24.99, which I think is a really good price. And then I also grabbed another like pajama set or lounge set. This is just like really basic. Um, it's a little bit thicker, so it's gonna be nice for like colder days. But I also thought about postpartum and how nice it's gonna be just to have like kind of a little bit more of a put together lounge set so that if people come over or something, I feel just a little bit more put together. This is, like I said, a little bit thicker, which I kind of like. I don't like when the lounge sets, which I've seen before at Target, are super see-through and thin. So I think that I'm really gonna like this as well. This one was $29.99. And then shoes, these are house shoes, and I thought that they were so cute. And so when I saw that they had my size, I grabbed them. And then I have tried them on, they're super comfortable and I love the leopard print. I love that they're neutral and I think that I'm gonna get a lot of use out of these in the fall and winter. I grabbed a couple of shoes and again, I know it's like kind of weird to be buying sandals this close to fall, but I literally have worn the heck out of all of my sandals. And since we're gonna be going to the beach and it's still pretty much summer here, I just grabbed these because they were on clearance. These are the universal thread line. So I just got a pair of black. And then I had a pair of white that I was wearing a lot earlier in the summer and they ended up tearing because Emmy stepped on the back of it and I continued to walk. And so there was just a like a big tear in it and I was so sad. And then they never had my size again. So I found these in, they're actually a seven and a half, which is, a half a size too big for me, but I need them desperately. <laughs> so I grabbed those, both of these. This is random, but this is the whole reason I even went to Target in the first place is I needed some contact solution. And so I got the contact solution and then I saw these contact cases and I thought that they were really cute. And you're also supposed to switch out your contact cases like once a month or every time you switch out your contacts which I don't do that. That's a confession. I should do it. So anyways, I bought like a big stash so that I would be more likely to switch them out more often. And then while I was there, I got Oakley some shirts. He, he just is really rough on his clothes and gets them super stained and dirty. So I picked him up a couple of short sleeves to get him through the end of summer. Thought this one was really, really cute. Gray and white with some, I think, black in there as well. Here is another really cute, just little short sleeve. I grabbed this short sleeve. It's kind, it's kind of a pink color, which is a little bit different, but I, I kind of liked it and I like the buttons on it. And then they put out their long sleeve, like winter stuff. And at my Target, you have to grab it when you see it because it will be gone like the next day. So I got a couple long sleeves for Oakley because he's gonna need some more. And these, I can't believe the price. They're only, they're only $5.50. I really like this one. I love the colors. And then I got him just this black one. I've seen this one at Target before. Kind of reminds me of like a dark starry night. And then this was the last one that I got him. And red is a little bit of a different color for us. We don't wear a lot of red, but thought it was a nice little change of pace. And All right, you guys, so that is gonna be it for today's video. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I know this was like a different type of video, but I hope that it was fun and I hope it changed up the pace for you a little bit. If you are not subscribed to my channel, make sure that you do that. You don't wanna miss the fun videos that we have coming up. I know I keep talking about them and I keep promising that they're coming and they are. Gender reveal is coming up really, really soon. And then there's like nursery decorating videos, still have other decorating videos to do all around my house tons of organizing to do so lots of fun stuff coming up make sure you're subscribed you can also follow us on instagram at ally underscore gooch to keep up with us there on a more day-to-day -day basis and then i also have a wellness instagram account at simply essentials underscore ally there i talk about all things wellness non-toxic living i do a ton of diys and I would love for you guys to come hang out with me over there as well. All right, you guys, I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.